to install devil box on your linux system uh, first step is to update your system to do that let's go to the terminal and type sudo apt update and after that type sudo apt upgrade so this is how our first step is done now move on to the next step in the second step we will have to install docker in our system so to do that let's go to our terminal again and type sudo apt install docker.io it will take some time installation is complete now type docker minus minus version so it is showing the docker version that means docker installation is successful now let's move on to the next step in this step we will have to install docker compose in our linux system to do that let's again go to our terminal and type sudo apt install docker compose installation is complete now type docker docker compose minus minus version it is showing docker compose version so that means uh, docker compose installation is successful now let's move on to the next step now we are going to set up devil box to do that let's go to devil box official website devilbox.org uh, let's just go down a little bit here uh, the installation guideline has been given so initially uh, we will have to clone this repository copy this line git clone devil box repository path and go to your file manager here let's create a new folder in my home directory you can create anywhere uh, let's just type you tutorial and inside this folder i'm going to clone the devil box repository let's open a terminal from this directory and insert and hit enter this is going to clone the devil box repository inside tutorial folder so cloning the repository is done so here is the devil box repository now let's move on our browser again it is saying going inside the devil box repository now this line is saying copy env example file and rename it to dot env to do that let's go to our devil box folder again and here we can see there is a file name env example let's copy this file and paste it and rename this file to dot env hit enter so where is dot env file to see that uh, here select i'm selecting show hidden files uh, here is the env file let's open it actually this env file is the configuration file of devil box we will talk about this later on 
now based on this instruction we will have to start all docker containers regarding devil box to do that let's open the terminal again you should be inside devil box directory inside this directory you will uh, have to apply this command now type sudo docker compose up minus d minus d stands for detached mode now it will download all the necessary docker containers for devil box it will actually take a lot of time to download all the files so stay calm and wait for the download so all the download is complete now let's go to the browser and here type localhost and hit enter so that means our devil box installation is successful as devil box is installed successfully let's test it out to do that let's go to the devil box directory and in this directory go inside this data folder again go inside this www folder here in this folder let's create a project the project name is i am giving example and create it inside this example folder create new file P O O C H touch index dot html i have created index dot html file here and open this type something in this index dot html file for example example site and save this file I'm closing this file and moving on to the browser again. Here in this devil box panel, uh, click on this virtual host section. Now you will see our projects. Here it is saying missing htdocs directory in <clears throat> example folder. So let's move on to the directory again and create that htdocs folder here new folder htdocs hit enter and inside this htdocs folder move that index.html file now moving on to the browser again refresh it so our test example site is ready now click on here our website has loaded successfully that means our devil box installation is successful and it is working properly in the next upcoming videos i will show you all the tools of devil box one by one and another important thing is that when you have finished your work don't forget to turn off your docker containers so to do that let's move on to the terminal again and write sudo docker compose down so your work is done thank you